The menstrual cycle is the female body getting ready for pregnancy each month. It starts during puberty and continues until a woman is about 45 or 55 years old, when she hits the menopause. Today, we're learning the stages of the cycle and the hormones that control it. This is higher tier content, so if you're studying foundation, skip to the contraception video. First, you'll need to know the stages of the menstrual cycle, then we'll look at the hormones behind it. It's a 28 day cycle, and we'll start with the egg maturing in the ovaries, just like you can see here. The uterus lining also thickens in preparation for a fertilized egg. On day 14, one egg is released from an ovary. This is called ovulation, and it passes into the oviduct. The uterus lining will remain thick for a few more days after this, but if the egg doesn't get fertilized and implant, then the lining will break down. This is known as having a period. When this happens, blood will come out through the vagina, and a girl will need to use some sanitary products to capture it. She can use pads, tampons, or menstrual cups. Now let's look at the four hormones that control the menstrual cycle. FSH, or follicle stimulating hormone, comes from the pituitary gland and travels down to the ovaries. It causes eggs to mature. It also stimulates estrogen production. Estrogen is secreted by the ovaries. It causes the lining of the uterus to develop, ready for a fertilized egg. It inhibits or stops the production of FSH, so eggs do not continue to mature. It also stimulates the release of LH. LH, or luteinizing hormone, causes ovulation. This causes the mature egg to be released into the oviduct. Finally, progesterone is produced by the empty follicle in the ovary after ovulation. It inhibits LH, as you don't want more than one egg to be released. It also inhibits FSH. Finally, it maintains the lining of the uterus for around 10 days, keeping it thick and ready for a fertilized egg. The specification says you have to be able to interpret hormone data from graphs. Pause and take your time trying to answer these questions. Look back at what each hormone does to help you decide your answer. Press play when you're ready to go through them. Number one, name the hormone represented by the green line and explain your choice. Okay, so the hormone represented by the green line is LH, or luteinizing hormone. This is because it peaks at day 14, which is when ovulation occurs, and LH causes ovulation. 2. Explain the changes in the level of FSH. You must refer to the hormone represented by the blue line in your answer. FSH levels are high from days 1 to 5. This is because FSH causes eggs to mature, which is needed at the start of the cycle. FSH levels then drop for the rest of the cycle. This is because the levels of estrogen, represented by the blue line, have started to rise. Oestrogen inhibits FSH to prevent too many matured eggs. When oestrogen levels drop, FSH starts to rise again at around day 25. How did you do? Next up, we're learning the different methods of contraception. Click here to watch it and here to subscribe. Thanks and bye!